Hey Dave, come here quick, there's something you gotta see. That man has got a dancing bear tied up to that old tree. And it's dance, dance, Dakota dance, all around the country store. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. Well, it's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow Dakota and it dance some more. What's up YouTube? It's your girl the Mac of All Trades and I'm back with another crafting video. You guys, it's been a hot minute since I have brought you a crafting video. And so yeah, we're going to be doing some kind of, I don't know whether to call this video like a Dollar Tree crafting video because one item out of it is from Dollar Tree. Well, multiple items are from Dollar Tree. And then some of it is, one thing is from like Hobby Lobby and then other stores. Anyway, moving right along. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing some crafting today, you guys. So any of you who shop at Dollar Tree, I'm sure you have seen these little guys. So it's two piece. Usually when um, they're in the store, they're kind of like that. You know what I mean? So... You guys, you get two sides and then they come together and you can put things inside of them, right? Um, so last year I did some crafts with these um, and this year I want to show you the craft that I did do with them. I don't think it's a video here on my channel, but um, yeah, so you're going to need some of these, you guys, and you're going to get to make two out of this, okay? Um, and then, or if you want, you can make just one, you know, whatever you want to do. But, um, for me, I'm going to be getting two out of this one. And then you're going to need some of the Yarnby, um, Eternal Bliss, um, Chunky Yarn, you guys. This is what it looks like. And you guys, I will say, last time I went, they're no longer $6.99, they're $7.99. So, Hobby Lobby raising the prices up on us just like everybody else with a dollar. Okay, so you need some of this, whatever color you want to choose, okay? But you don't need a whole lot. Like literally, I have some scraps here from when I did these little projects last year that I'm gonna be using to make these. So um, a little bit goes a long way, okay? Um, you're gonna need your glue gun, okay? And then, let me come back here. We're going to need any kind of like floral or greenery or whatever of your choosing. You guys, I have a ton of floral, you know, when Michael's used to do their grab bags for $5 and they would have a bunch of floral in there, I would snatch it up because you guys, it always comes in handy. So some of these are from Dollar Tree like this one. Um, some are from like Walmart that I got on clearance or whatever. And then some are from um, Michael's with those grab bags. So you're going to need a variety of floral or whatever floral um, you have in mind. And then I don't know if I said a glue gun, but you will need a glue gun. Um, I'm testing out as well my new cordless glue gun. I've never had one of these. This is called the Sure uh, bonder. I got it from like Walmart for like 17 something or 18 something you guys. So, uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a test run, um, and see how it works out. Otherwise y'all I'll have to use one of my corded ones. Let's go ahead and get into this and I'll show you how to decorate these little bunnies. So cute for Easter. Now what we're going to do is start gluing our chunky yarn onto our bunny. Um, so I like to start kind of in the middle cause it gives a good, um, breaking point, you know what I mean? So, uh, what we're going to do is just start gluing this thing on here. We're going to place a little bit of glue in there and then we're just going to attach that right there to make sure it stays in place. And then we're going to start wrapping this bunny in this yarn so to start we're just going to wrap it around there around the neck area as you go along you're going to want to put like a little dot of glue to secure it in place and so we're just going to do and i like to put my glue right i like to put my glue right here on this little 
lid. And make sure you are wrapping it tight around there. You're also, as you're wrapping, going to want to make sure that you're keeping them snug together so that none of the pink underneath can show through. And so you're just going to keep with this method all the way down the bunny. Now we're here at the bottom area. I put some glue along the bottom area right there so that we can make sure this like last kind of row before we get all the way to the bottom stays in place really well. Following the outline of the bottom of the bunny, here is where we're gonna start tracing the glue along so we have our glue on there and then we're just going to follow along with pressing the yarn down where we put that glue And then we're just going to fill in with the glue. We're just going to fill in right there with the glue once we get all the way to the bottom. And now we're to the bottom and we're just going to press, we're going to press this down to make it flatter. We got some scissors and we're just going to cut the bottom there off. And now we're just going to kind of make sure that certain areas that we see are glued down like that. Okay, so there's the bottom half. Now we're going to start on the top half of the bunny and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the bottom half on the top half. And so let's go ahead and glue a piece in place and then here at the top I'm gonna add little dots of glue along the top just to keep this secure since it goes up so fast like the shape of the bunny goes up really fast and to hold it in place better. Okay, so we're at the top. We're near the ears. Now we just need to wrap the ears. So we're going to start with this one first. That's We're going to start with this ear first where it's closest to this. And we're going to wrap the ears. And we're going to put that glue all along the ear line so that this yarn stays exactly where we want it. And as we, as we go up the ear, we're going to make sure we're gluing all along the front and then again at the sides 
And so as we're nearing the top of the ear, I'm going to kind of gauge how much I'm going to need to finish. And I'm just going to clip this off where I think it will take to finish the ear. And we're just going to continue to glue like that. As we near the top, we're just gonna cover this. And then I'm also gonna put a little bit of glue right there directly onto the back piece of the yarn. And then we're gonna go like this. And then see how we kind of have a tail going on here. We're gonna wanna tuck that in to the top. See how that's see how that's tucked in there. We tuck that into the top. Okay, now for the next year we're gonna do the same thing where we kind of glue it on the inside right there on the outside and then we're gonna put this in there. And again on the front of the ear. Pushing that down towards the base of the ear. Okay, you guys. So the bunny is pretty much done. We just have this little part here at the top. We're going to take a little piece of this. And we are going to glue it here into the middle. And I like to do kind of like a triangle shape in there. So we cut off a little bit of the excess right there. Okay, so we're going to start by gluing down inside there. We're going to stick this inside there like that. And then... I'm going to put some more glue right here and on the front and right there. So filling in that little spot, we're going to go like that. Then we're going to press that down real good and then bring it like that back over the top. And then we're just going to tuck that in in the back. So that's how the top of his head gets filled in. And so that's what everything looks like when it's all covered. It's super cute even just on its own like that. Now, if you want, you could put like a little ribbon around the neck. That would be really cute. We might do that here as well. But you could put a little ribbon around his neck. But we are going to put some flowers on here. Okay, so for this one, I cut some greenery down. And you really do not need a whole lot of the greenery. Let me take some of these uh, glue gun spidey webs down and we're just going to start gluing directly onto the, and I like to kind of push, push it in or if you have a popsicle stick, kind of push it down to where it will stay in place. Flower. So I'm going to add some glue onto there and glue it down right here. And I don't want it too high up. I want the other ear to be able to show. So we got that. And then there's a little bud here. So we're going to put that on there as well, like that. And then we've got one of these little white ones. So I'm going to add some glue to that. Stick it 
right in there. And then we're gonna add one more white one. So however you want it, I'm gonna stick that right in there. Check it out. We are all done. I added a little piece of ribbon here. All I did was just glue it in the back like that. And you guys look how cute this is. Um, you could also put like a little bow or add a little bow up here as well. But you guys, super inexpensive craft, you guys, because there are so many other projects you can use that yarn for. I mean, if you were to buy a bunch of these, just think. I used very little of the yarn to make this. So there's so many other projects that you can use um, that yarn for. And so, you guys, I just wanted to share this with you. I have a ton of these I have made last year, and I will um, add them pictures of it. So, to give you more ideas of different ways or colors to do these little bunnies in. But, you guys, super inexpensive craft. With all that being said, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Me and sweet Betty ain't never seen a bear that can dance before. It's a one step, two step, three step, four. Follow the go to any dance more. Dance, dance, to go to dance all around the country store.